up next we're going to be taking another look at our roads but we need to have our morning conversation I met some ladies this weekend and i think we must address the elephant in the room these are ladies who are wanting in common with what's trending right now they're having affairs with married men making a lot of good money living it up and living the good life and they asked me Mary, let me ask you a question please go and ask kenyans how come when things are good their families benefit their mothers their fathers their brothers their sisters what to walk because school fees when i end up they are sorted out by this woman her friends benefit kikimana she's now the devil Oh, Maslay Queen was telling me Mary Bika, Nini, 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 Angalia, the consequence of going out with married men. But when things are good and everyone's benefiting, she is heaven sent. Actually, one of them says society is pimping us because they are benefiting from the money we get from these men. When things go wrong, suddenly we're the homebreakers. We are the flesh peddlers. We are leading our girls astray. Why are you pimping them? We've had these two in the last one month. These two cases have just been absolutely ridiculous. And to the ladies, is there a lesson to be learned? Is there a lesson to be learned? Mm. Young yeah, might take uh, whatever is happening. Jackie and Sharon the lesson number one siku ya kifo chanyani kila muti uteleza have you heard that medali? I've heard of it so you need to choose which battles and wars you get yourself into because when it rains it pours yes and people are going to ignore you oh unacheza mpaka even the station you work with the company wataza kusema awasemi mmoja wetu wataza kusema a journalist but there that's already been done eh hawa tazema one of our hosts hata hapa eh eh watazema kingangi wa classic hapana watazema omutangazaji mmoja eh the world turns their back on you yes immediately inapenduka unashindu haki yao that's where the depression comes in when everyone rejects you for me that's the most important lesson that you need to choose the associations you get yourself involved with especially a lady because the world is so unforgiving the society ma pretenders wale tuko na hapa yaani kazi inaisha hivi you the only people unabaki nao ni familia i was so moved by jackie's dad lika na ye mpaka dakika musho no families the rest of the karakati has koso koso wando yaani wamemwache hivyo eh things change and the ladies unaona they are the worst worst hit eh but when she's making the money when she's doing and everything well. is good she's heaven sent yeah. and you know where she's getting her money from mm -hmm. you know who you go and meet mm -hmm. her with every friday night all those are three ladies in one week you know who comes yeah. You know who comes to our house every other day. So you know where she's getting her money from. But she's cool as long as you're benefiting. As a, as a lady, how does that make you feel? Because you must talk about this elephant. It's just staring us in the eye. We cannot ignore. Those are three lessons. Jackie, Jackie uh, Sharon, and uh, Monica. In less than a month. Those are very big lessons. Yeah? associations na vile watu watakuacha kikiunam kikiumana ah mwanye why don't you give me a call on 0711046105 why is society so hypocritical mm. pretenders that's the word pretenders mm. what's that you're matter? benefiting the day something happens you're the one being interviewed by the tv station and you're the first one to say alikuwa na entertain you mwanaume hapa hata nilikuwa naona huyu ataharibika but when things were good you were benefiting and where are the friends yeah, exactly where are these ladies friends oh seven one one zero four six one oh five is my number give me a call because i just don't get it 
My short code is double two four nine four. If you want to contribute via SMS, so hit me up on my fan page on Facebook or my Twitter handles at it's minor Kageni or classic one o five Kenya. My hashtag is minor and Kingangi. Because if we don't learn a lesson here, ladies, it's gonna go from bad to worse. What's going through your mind right now? I'm sure you've got your own thoughts. And no one is talking about the men in there in this lady. And by the way, these men have not been accused of anything. One of them, the only anger directed to him is because of an alleged association with a murder. They are not saying, how could you, with your status, entertain and tongoza this young girl? No one's asking that question. That big shot north of the border down the other country, who created this entire mess, no one's talking about him. No, those are angels. How? Oh seven one one zero four six one. Was there some ladies over the weekend who said, "Minor, the society pimps us out. Our families benefit when times are good. They know where I'm getting my money from. Where are you hanging me out to dry when things get thick? That's their question. The men in these triangles, no one mentions them." There is no fury towards them. The only fury to one of them is that because there's an allegation that he took part in the murder of Sharon. They're not saying, how could a man of your stature, how could a man of your age entertain a girl this young? The guy in South Sudan, no one even knows his name. But he's only created this environment where there was a lot of money changing hands, where the evil just took hold, thrived, mutated, and executed. How come no one's talking about them? Why is it always the girl who's hung out to dry? Let me just go down to your tweets. Clinton Danny said, I've got no problem with young girls sleeping with married men. And when I marry, I also don't expect anyone to complain about me sleeping with young girls. It's called karma. Shirabaini is saying, don't expect them to learn any lesson. They've learned and seen many dramas. Especially Kama Iko Kitu Ya Kunyonya, they'll ignore everything. Kanga Justin Kanga is saying, when you're burning green twigs, you know the smoke. Stop dragging society to this mess. Monetary driven, driven enthusiasts pay their own dues. Sharon Shannon is saying, the world is becoming so cruel. Everyone is angry, so harmful. That's what I'm wondering, where are we headed to? I'm just conscious about everything now. But the greatest fear is who's next? She is. James O'Rourke is saying it's time parents question the free flow of cash, demonize the whole thing. Usposiba ufa utajenga ukuta. Ladies, nothing comes on a silver platter. You must labor. Good stories start from grass to, grass to grace. It's worth writing, but now tears daily. Chef Ryan is saying, saying tough times reveal true friends and with the ladies peer influence and wanting to live beyond your means dominates it all. At it's minor again you are classic one of five Kenya. My hashtag is minor and Kingangi. I don't get it, do you? Minor. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yes. My name is Steve. Yeah. Uh just wanted to contribute about the the case you have because it's a case. Please do. No, eh? Mm. Uh, look at Jackie's case. Yeah. Do you think she got herself into that case because she didn't have money. She had the money. Yes. But she had to amass more money. Now look at what she wanted to do. Go back to uh, Jackie, Jackie again. Eh? Yeah. Right now she's suffering for something that, let me say, she might not have committed. Yeah. But she tried to look for more money in a man or in men than what she could afford. Because, one, she had the money. She had the money. She had the money. job. A good one. Yeah. Then why is she, did she get herself into such a mess? So why do you think it is? Why do you think she got herself in such a mess? Because she wants to live a life that she cannot afford. She wants to show the world that she made it. And she'll just end up 
Uh, okay, I'm so sorry for the journalist world because she ended up like uh, Arunga. Because now, who knows Arunga anymore? She's just gone in desperation and she's just like that. Now, do you think she'll still come back as Nani Kingani says? Even the media house says the same thing. A journalist, not our journalist. Ata usha achwa. Koshi wa uko tena, nika muka mutanga za gitu, kama patikana. Okay. Forgotten and gone. I'm so sorry for them, man. Hope the rest will learn their lessons, not the hard way. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hello. 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 Morning. Morning, Maina. Yes. This is the Sawa Kamoyo. Yeah. So about today. Yeah. The ladies should learn that after every, after all this it's you who is going to be beaten by the world mm. so you should first of all to all the young lady work hard for your own money don't depend on this man because they will come they will misuse you they will anika you to the public and they will leave okay so someone like jackie right now is the one is the topic of the day joey is not even anywhere to be seen yeah just just tell our girls, don't allow yourself to be someone sex toy or someone to use you. Work hard for your money and know your friends. Maina, let me tell you one thing. Right now, the people that are around you, Kitu Kidogo, it happens and Maina has a scandal. Guys depart. They don't even know Maina. That's true. na Maina. So you have to be even careful who you, as, you associate yourself with. Especially you, the celebrity. Because you associate people... Like now, Jackie, it's only the family that is there. But the rest of the world is beating her around like... As I, I feel so so heartbroken because of what she's going through. First of all, because I am a lady. And seeing how her career in Aisha to evil, and everyone around her may disappear. Those people are going to end out na yeye. No one is there to walk with her through this journey. So as ladies, let's just be careful who we associate with. Thank now, you. to watch a story, I could depend on a sponsor. Just work hard. I'm going to be able to just work for your own money. Stop being desperate. I know I'm going to be desperate and depend on one rich guy uko because everything when everything comes around you are the one who is going to be beaten by the world you Thank as you. a young woman you have a world itakuangalia and they will be beat you left right and center no one cares thank you okay the conversation so we can't ignore it can't hide our heads in the sand and no we can't gotta be honest about it I would really love to hear from a lady who goes out with a married man and everyone benefits. Because everyone benefits when you're doing well. Girls, do you realize that? You're bowling. When things go downhill, you're on your own. You are on your own. John Tez Mahinda, let me just go to your tweets. Our ladies today are like our government. Until there's an accident and people die, that's when they'll fix that road. It's unfortunate. I don't keep it borrowing saying, young girls, just be content with what your parents are giving you, whether small or big. So sponsors just use you. John Stopper Lusabe is saying, society is, and I quote, always right, but it's upon an individual to distinguish between right and wrong. Kelvin Otoko is saying, there's a limit on whatever you do in life. Ladies should not let men waste their youth. Be with a man who wants you to grow and remember to work hard. Treating it, they say, one thing about ladies, they always want quick money. They never learn. They will never learn. They want a good life. They want to compete with the rest and also brag on social media how they're doing when in life. Ladies, wake up. Who mentors these young girls? Who are their role models? Maybe that's a question you need to ask. 
at it's minor kegenyo a classic 105 kenya my hashtag is minor enking hello hello minor morning morning how are you i'm fine thank you i would like to contribute to our topic today yeah please do i would like to talk to the young ladies yeah and tell them they have the potential yeah they are being deceived that they can only rely or depend on this sponsorship thing yeah it is not true they need to get up smell the coffee and believe in themselves yeah but they can earn their own living in a positive way and in a well good manner yeah i also want to challenge our parents today yeah. the parents are lavishing and enjoying this money that's, be told. that's true truth be told maina come to case of uh, sharon's case yeah the parents enjoyed this money nice and well yes yet now when, the, when things have gone haywire yeah now it is about our daughter it is about why are they not telling us what was being taken to the home when i was saying that you will enjoy kila wiki kila hey why not yeah we were brought this we were bought this we were done for this they are not saying so i want to tell the parents and i want to challenge every parent today Take care of your child. Advise your girls. It is a high time a parent told a girl, you are precious, you can do it, and you are capable of doing it without being a sponsoress or a sponsored uh, girl. Let them get up and tell them, go and work. During our times, we used to work, Maina. Yeah. When we closed school, my mom would, would actually give a whole girl a, a, a whole month off go home and you would work unakatia ngombe majani unabeba kuni unafanya nini today we, we we are good we are good women but today what is happening parents wanna pamper girls ya mpata kimze kia wapi kikwa na bibi ngapi ah uyo uyo chukua chukua uyo hmm let's see what he can bring let's see what is in his pocket at the end of the day, we are destroying our children yeah. in the name of money and in the name of living well and large. And then we, we, we start blaming this man. When you wow, PSO, our number one is Aliwa Pia. Yeah. Well, is Aliwa. Eh? We must know what Kimbilia Uko in our national morals is because the Bible says, train up a child in the way he or she should go. And even when he's grown. He will not depart from it. Parents, work hard. Do your job. Mwache kublei mawa watu wa tisa yote. Atiga wanauma wamezuru watoto wenu. What did you do for that child of yours? Thank you, Maina. Thank you very much. I love that. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning, Mr. Maina. Morning. How are you, Salimia Kingangi? I'm a Salimika. Mm. Maina kwanza wacha ni kulize swali before I go on to the topic. Kwani ushikangu na oma? <laughs> Kwa nini? Unajua of the past few months watu hile oma wameshikuwa nao. Hiyo ndo unajua tu Kenya. <laughs> Nenye yo mezaliwa UK. <laughs> eh? <laughs> hey, we. Engineer wabugo. Yes, engineer. Abadigadi, ni muami sana. <laughs> eh? Now let me tell you something about this Jackie Maribe case. Yeah. You know this woman goes to work as a reporter yeah and she goes and sees people like uh lilian muli kina jeff koinangi hapo na maji series how engine hizi you know like in the lifestyle that they live maybe the salary is a little bit different yeah Yo. after now you end up finding a man who who pna aneza kuaribu waribu the number the number of women who are here the, the number of these small women who are here are very lazy maina mina za kuambia i normally get calls from uh wale wale wetu sunajua wa sasa ngini tunakoza tunatoka hapa hapa inje unasikia mchana na kupigia saa mbili ya subuhi <coughs> anaku anakuitisha pesa na hako kwa nyumba they are very lazy the ones who you wake up in the morning home me talk out and attack kuwa and attack mkunye pombe but i love it create when they can find to fly me fly the status that she wants to live now when you leave her that when you leave this woman 
umuachilie tu kabisa sasa rudi maisha yake normal ana anakuja anaanguka watu wataki ukaa na ye because sasa iliisha na wewe ulimwacha because she is a because no men will just want sex from you hakuna kitu ingine tunatakaga niyo tu ok at the end of the day that is the only thing we need so for for the women out there i want to just advise this to one girl work hard for your money do not depend on a man and let me tell you any man who will find you already settled atakupenda zaidi kuliko ule mwenye anakuja tikutolewa hapa chini atiana wewe unainuliwa na pesa yangu hiyo ni upuzi work hard for your money earn your stripes then let me love you the way you are do not, do not be fooled into being given money handouts are very handouts always come with a with a with a with a catch with a catch yes with a catch thank you engineer oh, the sponsors era has really taken hold of society and if we're not careful we're going to lose control the one person i've not talked to this morning is a lady who's in such a relationship because we know it's like it's like cocaine there's a hook what is the hook when you consider the consequences should anything go wrong Kanga Justin Kanga saying it's unfortunate these young ladies are paying the price for being lazy and envious of lavish lifestyles with their own lives. To lipe what he deni ya Kenya. Wow. Preaching at the same parents too should be blamed. You should be worried when your jobless daughter starts living large. There's a lady who called in earlier and said the families don't complain when the money's rolling in. I know of mothers who tell their daughters, ukimwacha utafanya nini? Na uchumi vile iko mbaya. Shida mimi ni saying lessons lazy ladies should learn. Lazy people are cursed to the parents. How can you be entertained by your daughter with the money you sure hajatolea jasho in the name of saying yeye ni mtu mzima? Clinton Dunn is saying, ladies, a man who encourages you to improve yourself is better than the one who's be, who buys you expensive wigs to put on your empty head. And by the way, tattoos are trash. Drake Hashem asking, ask ladies how much love do they have for themselves? Is it enough to fight for what they want in life and living their lives according to the way they want? Or is it too little that they're living a lie and don't even know? Good question. Sharon Shannon is saying being safe actually starts with an individual. The moment you start making decisions on your own means you're a fully grown up. No one is there to control or interfere, but sometimes a little advice is good for oneself. I've learned a lot. At it's my neck again, your art classic 105 Kenya. My hashtag is minor and kingangi. Keep that conversation going because it's important to talk engagement on twitter is incredible keep it going but right now I have the final word hello hello Maina. morning good morning yes so many people are just pointing fingers at ladies yeah i think they don't understand the problem uh-huh. you know the big problem is mm. these old men are occupying good jobs in these companies so i want to share with you ladies you know they reach an age where you I, you can a person cannot take in any advice especially in this 21st century of us hmm? there are so many problems ladies go through like Our what person. like what please give me an example hmm? please give me an example of some of those problems money is a big issue to us money yes and you come from poor background so so the key here is to get money by any means possible yes getting money by any means possible and you don't have a problem with how they get it yes don't even ask or have any problem don't even question don't even question Yes. Good day. Good day. Wow. Hello. Morning, Maina. Morning. SG Hapa. Yeah. 
Yes, I want to tell our girls, if you, if you want to date a married man, yeah. you have to know your place. Do you understand Hello? this dating a married man thing? Do you understand it? Yes, I do. Do you see like they've got a point marrying, uh, uh, going out to this married man? Yes. You understand yes. why they go to this married man? Sometimes these uh, married men mm. have saved their, I mean, kuna vile wamekua wakisaidi ya familia zao, wamekua misomesha watoto wao. It's not a bad thing as long as you know your place, but if you start making demands, that's a happen to nakosea or nakosea. When you say know your place, what does that mean? It means at least, we hauna right yoyote ya kudemand vitu from the married man. Nishai jaribu and I know now that unajua to your place. Yani usinete ma sijui ni sijio. I want you to introduce me to what your friends at It's not going to work. Know your place. Know your place to Leah. Don't call him at certain hours. It will be well. As long as just be a fool enough to sit there. Thank you. Yes. Me? Me? Uh. There's only one question I want to ask tomorrow. 